So, I'm back. Remember last hour? Um, <laughs> less than an hour ago now, because that video went on forever. Um, I was telling you about this Lily Tomlin uh, VHS. Here it is. This thing, it's not mint. It's definitely used. It's got wear and tear and stuff on it. <clears throat> the, um, the cassette is in excellent, excellent condition. I was looking at this yesterday... And this is really funny. She plays multiple parts in this movie. I was looking to upgrade. I was like, you know, I'm just kind of curious because I want to go eventually go through my entire collection. I like VHS. I like collecting them, but I'd like to replace them with either DVD or Blu-ray. So I was like, hey, here's a random one. I picked it up. <sighs> I wonder how much it would cost. If I was to go on Amazon and buy this, now I'm sure there's some cheaper, but they was like asking 80 bucks for a DVD of this title. 80 bucks. And this one was going for 50 bucks. What? Apparently it's rare. So, um, I'm going to hold on to it. If this son of a monkey, I'm gonna, if I replace it with a DVD, this tape is going to get held on to. The other thing is because it's so expensive, I don't know if I want to put a label on it because I think I'm going to sell it. <laughs> uh, totally honest with you, 50 bucks? Man, for 50 bucks, I can buy so many movies and I could probably find this again um, for less than that. So I'm really leaning on it. So the question is, if you go out and about and you find something that's rare, really, really rare and worth a lot of money to some buddy uh, to me this is only worth 25 cents i probably paid a buck for it but to me it's only worth 25 cents but if i can get 50 bucks for it okay i'll take 50 bucks i mean i'm not gonna lie about it i'm gonna take 50 bucks you're gonna offer me 50 i'll take 50 bucks um do i want to watch it yeah do i want to enjoy it yeah Am I okay with putting this in my com or hooking this to my computer? Uh, there, okay, I, I'm able to hook my VCR to my computer and make a digital copy of this movie. And if that's the only kind of copy I have instead of this for fifty bucks, okay, I have a copy which I can burn to DVD. I could scan the artwork on this. Worst case, I mean, we're talking worst case scenario. Make a bootleg. I can scan a copy of the artwork on this guy. I can make a DVD. Sell that. Make 50 bucks. For 50 bucks. That's, I mean, potentially that's 50 DVDs to add to my collection. Maybe more depending on what kind of deal I get. It's like a no-brainer. Uh, sell it. Um, at the moment, I'm going to hold on to it. The price could possibly go up. It could possibly go down. I potentially only paid like a buck or so for it. I'm just going to hold on to it. Uh, so for now, for now, but that blew me away. I, I was kind of like, whoa, there's a VHS in my collection. That's worth 50 bucks. Holy jikes. That's awesome. You know, I have I have some pretty rare stuff in my collection. Um, you know, for instance, I have this guy here with Kirk Cameron. Listen to me. You know, um, pretty rare film. I have a lot of these. And a lot of them right here in front of me. Um... Let's see. I have a Blue Tornado. You know, pretty rare film. A lot of this, a lot of these v, or VHS tapes never made it to DVD. Um, what is this one? Walk Far, oh, see, The Legend of Walk Far Woman. I don't know if it's ever made it to DVD. Well, the only kind of copy there could be is a VHS. And let me tell you what, as more time passes in life, you know, as, as the clock turns, 
the less and less these VHS tapes exist. And, um, you know, if they, they don't put it on Blu-ray or, or, or uh, 4K, which most of these films aren't going that direction, because you think about it this way, when movies started coming out, they put a ton of stuff on VHS, a ton of stuff. And when DVD came out, they put less stuff on VHS. And then Blu-ray came out, and even less titles on, on Blu-ray. And now 4K, there's even less titles on. So as, as it comes out, the older stuff, lots and lots and lots of it aren't getting on the newer formats. So as people throw them away, because right now, and for the last five, ten years, people have treated VHS tapes like trash. I know me personally. I had a hundred before before I started collecting DVDs. I had a hundred and fifty VHS tapes, hundred and fifty of them. That was like I was so proud of my collection. Maybe one hundred and sixty, but one hundred and fifty VHS tapes. So proud of my collection. DVD came out, and everyone's like, "Oh my gosh, you got to get to DVD. DVD is so much better." The prices of DVD started to drop, and I went in and I started getting rid of VHS tapes and replacing them with DVDs. And you're like, oh, this is cool. I'd have, you know, a huge handful that weren't even on DVD. Dumb me threw them away. Like most people, not realizing how valuable something like that could be, they just throw it away. And I mean, we're talking landfill. We're talking throw them away. And, um, you know, there, there's movies out I, I have on my shelf, you know, that most people never even knew existed. Like, here's one. Marty. This is a freaking awesome movie. Did you know it existed? You know, most people have no idea. Um, let's see. What's another good one here? Uh, oh, well, that one. I was going to say batteries, batteries not included, but a lot of people know about batteries not included. Um, here, here we go. Um, the Mighty Quinn. The Mighty Quinn. Most people have never heard of it um, or seen it. You got Rampage. You know, it, uh, I said Blue Tornado. Um, we have, what's this, Dirty Heroes. So there's, there's a ton of films that most people have never seen. A lot of people want to watch the brand new stuff that just came out. Oh my gosh, that was in theaters last week and now it's on you know 4K. And that's what they want to watch. Okay, watch the new stuff. I kind of like stuff that is not as popular. Not as, oh my gosh, there's a cult following for. I prefer watching things that just are like almost non-existent in most people's worlds. Uh, Max and Helen. What? Like is that? Max and Helen. The average person would never in a million years come across it. Same with this one. Uh, the Trouble with Spies. Uh, this is um, Donald Sutherland. I mean, Trouble with Spies. Well, it's, it's funny. It's awesome comedy. Most people have no clue. So... When it comes to collecting, here, big, big, big thing here. When it comes to collecting physical media, don't turn your back to VHS tapes or beta tapes because there are things on tape you will never see on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K. Ever. Same with Laserdisc. You see something you've never seen before. If it sounds interesting, grab it. If you don't have a VHS player, go to Goodwill, Value Village, or Savers, or any thrift store, and go find a cheap piece of garbage. If it works, awesome, and watch your movie, because I'll tell you, most of these, plays, most of these films are going to die. Um, most of this stuff, it'll only be on VHS. That's the highest, highest upgrade it's ever had. It'll never, ever, ever, ever get anything higher and especially now that we're getting rid of physical media we're going through this phase so far it's been about 10 to 12 years we're going through this phase where people are 
not buying as much physical media anymore. They want digital downloads or they want streaming. This stuff's disappearing. And you'll never, ever know it even existed or see it ever again because no one's going to spend the money to put something that no one's ever heard of on a platform where it takes up space because these servers are only so big. They can only hold so many movies and so many TV shows. They're not going to spend their money putting something up that only three or four people, you know, in a week or a month are going to watch, you know, because they never heard of it. There's a select few of us out there, and I mean select, that want to watch something that the mainstream has never seen. So... Anyways, I want a soapbox. <laughs> it is what it is. It's late at night. I'm tired. Seriously, I am now done. I'm going to bed. Until next time, you guys, thanks for hanging with me. If you are not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Hang out with me. And uh, enjoy the show, because... I'm uh, passionate about what I do. <laughs> hey, maybe next time we'll talk about some laser discs. Maybe not Star Trek, though. Uh, <laughs> I just randomly grabbed. Oh, what's down here? Oh, let's see. What is this one? I'm going to randomly grab a laser disc. What is it? Oh, there you go. Never heard of that one before. <laughs> what is that? Uh, Othello. Othello, there you go. Um, so, you never know what you're going to find. Keep an open mind and uh, go hunting. All right, until next time, you guys, have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me, and uh, bye for now. <laughs>